This video is actually brought to you by nobody. Let's do it. This week's video is all about online buying or how do you buy stuff online or how you should buy stuff online. Well, I'm not going to teach you actually how to buy stuff online because obviously you probably know that's why you're an online buyer, that's why you're actively on the internet. First thing I'm going to tell you is that you shouldn't actually lowball somebody. Now, when you find something online, when you try to buy a monitor, for example, this guy is selling a monitor for 1,500 ringgit and he says the price is firm and of course it's COD postage and stuff like that and if you're interested you PM him to buy now PMing him is fine but try not to offer a ridiculous price like you know I've encountered uh, some guys who want to buy stuff from me say for example I put a uh, monitor like I just said for 1500 ringgit he actually told me that on PM hey I'm going to COD with you tonight at wherever you are for 1100 ringgit and definitely tonight I'll buy it from you so please uh, contact me via WhatsApp I already said it's 1,500 ringgit, so I don't know why are you actually asking me to reduce the price to 1,100 ringgit and I already said specifically the price is firm. So, you know, if you don't want to buy my stuff, do not lowball me because you're going to waste your time and you're going to look really, really silly. It makes you look like you don't even know how to read, uh, but it's impossible because you are an online forum. So it just proves that you're ignorant. So, you know what? That's the first thing you should not do. Do not lowball somebody. Okay? Now, the second thing is that you shouldn't ask somebody to PM you if he already says that contact methods, please PM me or WhatsApp for fast reply. The reason why he puts that is because he cannot be contacting each and every single one of you and offering a price because obviously the price is already there and you shouldn't ask them to PM you. Like, you know, typing, saying things like PM, 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 best price, best price, PM, 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 best price. I mean, what the hell is all about? It doesn't make any sense. It's as if you do not know how to comprehend or decipher or even understand simple English like saying PM me or WhatsApp me at a certain number. So you know, what really bugs me is that even though he already clearly says please do not ask me to PM you because I will not PM you, you have to PM me, people do actually still say PM best price. So what the fuck? PM, 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 Prime Minister! Man. <laughs> PM, PM, PM. So now, as an online seller or an online buyer, I think we all both need to show each other some respect in terms of that because you don't just hijack someone straight and say PM best price, PM best price, best price, PM please best price, PM COD tonight. It, it doesn't mean anything because you didn't just follow simple instructions. You know? The next one is dealing method. Like say for example, not in terms of payment, but in terms of do I COD with you or do I offer postage. Now, if someone has already said that look, his location is in Trengganu, for example, and you are in uh, maybe Selangor or Kuala Lumpur or wherever, but not Trengganu, and he says that the computer or the monitor or whatever is too big to post, do not go and message him or reply and say, PM best price, uh, COD, or uh, COD in Kuala Lumpur or Kota Damansara or wherever, because man, he already said he's in Trengganu, and he can only COD in Trengganu. So if you're not in Trengganu, Move on to the next thread, man. Go somewhere else. I see this on, on forums, like any, any tech forums, any buy-sell tech forums. I see it on even on Facebook forums. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't understand why you're actually going to ask that guy to COD with you in Kuala Lumpur. Wait, so you're expecting him to actually come down to KL just to deliver you stuff and then you still say PM best price. So basically you're asking for a best price which obviously is a lower price, and then you're asking to come down to KL to sell it to you. But obviously, if he's a desperate kind of dude, I'm pretty sure he would do it. But most of the time, I don't think anyone's gonna do it because it's absolutely ridiculous in terms of dealing-wise, and he, he's not obviously not gonna post it to you because it's too big or too dangerous. There might, there might be some complications, and then if he posts it, it gets missing, and you're gonna go, oh, this guy's a scammer. See, you get what I mean? So, just don't do it. Just, 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 just learn how to read and just follow his delivery method. If you can't follow it, don't even bother asking because he really says it over there. Unless he says that, oh, you know what, I'm Trangano, I'm coming down in KL a specific date, we could COD there. If you can confirm the deal, then it's probably a different thing. You know? So, so you know, you don't know. You know, maybe you, you, you fail your, your geography or you don't know all the 13 plus 1 states in Malaysia, you know, those kind of stuff. Man!
Alright guys, that's all I have for this week. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button because that's the only way for me to reach out to you guys. Don't forget to leave your experiences. Um, if you have any experiences in terms of uh, buying stuff online or meeting low ballers and stuff, feel free to share them in the comment section below. Or you know what, if you want to email me anything, you can email me at mindgamebestdealer at gmail.com. It simply means playing game is awesome in Malay. And you know what, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.